going on you guys, it's Jack Sleep Fitness right here. And today I'm gonna to show you guys a couple steps you guys can do to practice mindfulness. If you guys like videos that I post or you wanna see more videos, go ahead and subscribe below, comment, feel free to put your input in, how you feel about it. But basically I'm gonna go over some steps that you can do to prepare yourself to practice mindfulness, all right? All right, step one, make it a priority. You know, a lot of times in our life, we tend to place everything on the forefront except for ourselves, our well-being, our mental state of mind, but we forget to realize that our mind is the motor or it's the thing that runs everything that goes on. So if we don't have a clear mindset, how are we gonna actually put everything that we want to do into action? So this is why it's important to calm down sometimes and just practice on resetting our brain, okay? So make it a priority. Alrighty. So meaning Set a date, you know, tell yourself, tell yourself that you're going to make this a priority. I'm going to wake up. I'm going to read. I'm going to listen to some meditation music. I'm going to sit down somewhere and be present and aware. A lot of us don't understand what mindfulness is. Mindfulness is being aware and being in the present, so you can be with your brain, you can be thinking about something you have to do in the future, you can be thinking about something that you wanna do from the past. You wanna practice on focusing on the situation right now. Does that make sense? All right, so make it a priority. Number two, make time. You know, we all are busy. We all have bills. We all have a career goal. We all have somebody bugging us. We all have something to go do, you know? One thing we don't understand and we don't let go of is the fact that this is your life. This is your time. It's The project's still gonna be due. If you're working for a corporation, the next person up is going to do that job, and it's always going to be a job there to do. You have to tell yourself these things. You know, if it's you thinking about your body image, you're who you are. You have to make time to sit down and be like, I'm going to just enjoy my life right now. The time I'm here, I'm going to enjoy this second. I'm going to enjoy this moment, whether it's a stressful time or whether it's the best time of your life. You have to make this a priority. Make a time, whether it be in the morning which I like to do, I like to sit down in the morning or I like to um, wake up and listen to some music that's like meditation or I read a book, something to where I can just enjoy the day, constantly busy. So make a time, all right? Number three, learn, learn, learn. You know, study mindfulness. Look up books on it. Read, you know, even on this uh, platform, YouTube, there's plenty of resources that aren't expensive because we like to use that as an excuse for us being busy. We have stuff to pay for, but there's a lot of free resources and we don't effectively use our time. You know, I'm working on that. This New Year's resolution of mine is to read more books, to practice mindfulness, meditate more, make better use of my time. Learning, research books, audio, audiobooks.com or audible.com has great books on this subject, okay? Number four, it's our last step, okay? Let go of non-e- 
essentials. If your goal is to be successful at writing, you really need to just focus on writing. You need to let go of everything else that doesn't pertain to writing. My goal is to be a trainer and a coach. I set a time that I'm going to give myself free time. That's one thing. So let go of nine essentials has a lot to do with prioritizing your time. All right. It doesn't mean 24 seven, 365 days a week. You do that thing that you want to do. It means set a time to do certain subjects or certain things like that you enjoy. Like I do music and I make songs, but I don't do it every single day. I'm a trainer. I'm a coach. I don't do it every single day, 24 seven. I may prioritize that as number one in my life meaning I need to get this stuff done most of my time, but I still set outside time to have other things that I want to do. I don't, meaning prioritize, I don't focus on um, my outfits throughout the week. I'm focusing on coaching. I wear the same workout clothes, my shoes. I have certain things that I just need to make me feel better as a coach, and then I put 100 marbles in that most of my time. I don't focus on what bills do, what this has done. I focus on making sure I'm the best coach or trainer at that time. Letting go of everything else that doesn't matter at that moment. I don't have a girlfriend, but if you do have a spouse, you have to let go of what their expectations are, what people's expectations are. Um, you know, things that you are hoarding onto, like physically or mentally, you need to let that stuff go and focus on what it is you want to do, okay? So these are four things that'll help you have a clear mind, be in the present of practicing mindfulness, okay? So if you guys appreciate this video, um, go ahead and visit jacksleefitness.com, go ahead and visit me on Instagram, go ahead and like this video, comment below if there's any things that you, things that you guys do for practicing mindfulness that maybe I missed or you have some other strategies to maybe add on to this list. But other than that, it's Jacksleefitness and I'm out of here. Peace.